to Katrina's Creations. It is our Saturday podcast and I actually have two finished objects. Well, they're, they're part of one, but they're two finished objects. Uh, this is for a co-worker whose wife is having a baby in June. So, um, oops, let me get the bow straightened out. So here is the little sweater and this is all double crochet and then I put a scallop edging on it. So there is the little jacket. It's flipping up a little bit there. So the little, little jacket. And this is 100% cotton from Lion Brand. Um, it was in a mystery box and I forget what the brand was. But anyway, we have that. And then I have a little hat to go with it. And again, it has the little drawstring so they can size it to fit her head. So this is what it looks like together. So I have those two finished objects. I have 20 more granny squares, which now takes me up to the grand total of 110. I thought I was already there, but some of the bundles that I had together were actually 10 and not 20. So I did count them the other day. I have 110 and I have one full skein of the dark green left. I'm on the last skein of the the lighter color and then the last skein of the white because I bought one skein of white, two skeins of the medium and three skeins of the darker green. So we'll see how far it goes. I might start connecting it just so I make sure I have enough yarn left to connect everything. Uh, so we'll see. But anyway, yeah, 110 granny squares, and they are four inch by four inch. So if I put out 110, it's going to be 10 by 11. Yeah, 10 by 11. So it would be 40 inches by 44 inches right now, if I was to connect them at that point. So we have that. Now my knitted shawl with the yarn advent I have not done much on this week. I've um, been concentrating on those sleeves that have been driving me crazy. But anyway, um, here's where I was last week. It's right where this, let's see if I get this close, right where this yellow started. So I've only done this much, uh, which doesn't look like much except when this opens up. And right now, of course, I'm, of course, I'm mid row. Otherwise, I could show you. But, um, it's it's pretty deep so going back and forth is now taking me about five of each of the rows the black row and whatever color I'm working on at that time so it ten, takes about 10 rows to go through a 10 gram mini ball of yarn so I have a meeting at church tonight I'm taking this with me because I'll fidget otherwise I do not knit during church don't worry don't knit or crochet during church but I do it beforehand while I'm talking and chatting with people um, I do knit then, but um, yeah, this is a meeting about some improvements, building improvements. So yes, I will be taking my knitting and I'll take this because it's not as cumbersome as some of my other projects and I don't have to think about it because there's, you know, it's not really a pattern. And then last but not least, we have the sleeves for the sweater. I have only one inch to go. I have been super busy with this this week, working like crazy trying to get this done. And I am literally, the sleeves have to be 25 and a half inches. I am slightly past 24 inches. So here they are. There's two of them. Here's the other one. Um, so if I hold them up, there they are. So I am hoping to get this done this afternoon. So the sleeves will be complete at that point and I can start attaching the sweater all together, sewing it all together. Um, and then I can do the neck and it will be done and I can get it back to its owner. So um, yeah, that's, that's my goal this week. I'm not sure if I'll get it done or not, but I certainly hope so because I'd like to move on to some other projects. 
So that is what I have been working on this week. What have you all been working on? Now this afternoon, we're playing a little musical chairs because sitting over, well, just off screen over here is my mother's leather recliner, which my daughter and son-in-law brought from my mom's house. She has two identical recliners, one for her, one for my dad. Um, but when I was in the hospital, the, the big chair that we have uh, that's a recliner because I knew I was going to have to sleep out on the recliner for a while because uh, getting in and out of bed was too hard without having like you know bed rails like in the hospital to pull yourself upright so I thought well my best bet would be to sleep in a recliner but our recliner is definitely meant for somebody more Dave's size and height because I get in it and I'm like a turtle on its back I can't get out unless I literally shimmy myself down to the where the feet part are and then I flip my feet back and forth till I get enough velocity to knock the the feet part down and I can grab the little handle and pull it upright. Yeah, you can't do that right after surgery. So anyway, my mother happened to have a chair. My mom is shorter than I am and I can get a, I could get in and out of that chair very easily. So she graciously lent it to us. Uh, for me to use during my recovery time, but I haven't been using the recliner for several weeks now. So it is sitting over here and my son-in-law and my two oldest grandsons are going to be coming by this afternoon and picking that chair up to return it to my mother's. But in the meantime, <laughs> I have a gold chair that I bought a couple years ago it looks nice. It's the most uncomfortable thing I've ever sat in. Um, it's very, very stiff. It has springs in the seat, um, but it tends to hurt my tailbone when I sit in it because it's so stiff. So that chair is going to go over here. The chair you see here is one of my kitchen chairs. It's going in the closet underneath the stairs. And my mother wants to get rid of one of her chairs that is blue that actually would match with my blue living room and uh, so th my son-in-law is going to be bringing that chair back to me after he drops this chair off in my mom so he's swapping chairs and bringing it back so we've got a, a total of four chairs moving around the house or other places this afternoon before we go to the meeting tonight so it could be fun anyway um yeah i i went on this redecorating kick when i came home from the hospital I think it was because while I was in the hospital, the only thing there was to watch on TV was HGTV. And I think I watched the same episodes sometimes four times because they just kept rerunning them. 
I don't know why people get cable because like I said, what I saw of it, it was like the same thing four times in a row. But So when I came home, I bought a new like oriental looking rug from Wayfair. And then we, I bought new curtains because you can see the navy blue curtains here and they are navy blue. They look a little lighter in this room, but they are navy blue. And in our living room, it was kind of making it look a little dark. So I actually bought some white curtains and put in there. So yeah, we I've been on a decorating spree. Um, but I mean, the curtains were faded. They've been up for 13 years. Um, I'll probably leave the ones in here, but the ones in the living room I swapped out. And it makes a big difference. It's nice and bright in that room now. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's that's the saga of musical chairs at our house today. So I thought I would fill you in on one of the books that I had done a review on. If you missed it on Wednesday, you can click the link right here. Uh, it's about three books that I'm currently reading. And one of them I finished, and that was the Yarn Retreat book. Uh, it is written by Betty Hechtman. She writes two different series. She writes the Crochet Mysteries, which are my favorite series. And she also writes the Yarn Retreat or Yarn to Go Mysteries, um, which can be crochet or knitting. And so this was a Yarn to Go Mystery, and it was called But Not For Me. It's the latest, um, and it was really, really good. Um, I did finish it. If you want to hear a little bit in detail what it was about, like I said, click that link and that'll tell you a little bit about it. But it was a surprise at the end. I thought I had it all figured out who had done it. Um, and it turned out it was somebody different. There was like little clues dropped through the, the story. And I was thinking, oh, I, I've got it figured out. I think I know who it is. It wasn't that person. So anyway, um, it was enjoyable. It was a fast read. I think I listened to it because I get audiobooks. Um, I think I listened to it in two days. Yeah. So the one I'm listening to right now is the uh, murder she wrote, uh, Debonair in Death. And that one's, I think I'm in chapter five right now of that. I was listening to it last night while I was working on the Forever Sleeves. Um, and it's been it's been good so far. So far, the, the main character, well, not the main character, but one of the characters has just been arrested for murder and nobody believes that she did it. So Jessica to the rescue. So we'll see what happens there. And then I have not started yet this book. This is the book Woman from Troublesome Creek. It's about people whose skin color was is actually blue. It is a um, genetic type of thing. Um, sorry for the interruptions. The video right now is 12 minutes long and we've had three telephone calls during those 12 minutes and all of them are basically people trying to sell us stuff driving us a little crazy. So anyway, where was I at? Oh yes, I was finishing up, or uh, yeah, I haven't started this book yet, but this is not a library book and the lady who gave it to me said, just keep the book. So um, yeah, so I don't have to be in as, as much of a hurry to read it as I do the books that have to get returned to the library. So I wanna make sure I read those and don't have to renew them or anything. So now it's time for Now in our come and get it section, we have Lion Brand. If you saw my little video earlier this week, uh, I put it well earlier this week, yesterday. If you saw it on Friday, uh, Lion Brand is running a sale for 30% off of their yarn and their kits. You do not need a coupon code for it. Um, there is a link down below that will take you to either the yarn or the kits. Uh, there's two separate links. Uh, because not all of the yarns are included. There's some of their more luxury yarns and things are not included in the sale. So if you use the link down below, not only does it give me a little bit of a commission, which helps support the channel, but um, it also will take you directly to the yarns that the sale applies to. So uh, that is running through Sunday. So it ends like Monday morning at 9 a.m. So um, yeah, that's Lion Brand. The other thing is Annie's in their clearance section. And again, the link down below will take you to Annie's and you can look in the clearance section. Some of the yarns they have there are right now up to 50% off. I did see some that were around 50% off and they were decent yarns. So you just never know. 
and always check out Lovecrafts. They have daily sales. I don't normally post a whole lot of sales with Lovecrafts because many of their sales are just like one day sales or they're, you know, if I see something that's really good, I let you all know if I can. But like I said, a lot of times their sales are very, very fast. So um, always go over and check them out. Just make sure you click the UK version or the US version, whichever one applies to you. So the pricing shows up right and the shipping shows up right and everything. So that's what I have today. Now, there will not be a video on Wednesday uh, for the next two Wednesdays, actually, because this coming Wednesday will be my first week back to work and I don't want to overdo it. And the following Wednesday will be uh, the day Dave comes home from the hospital and uh, between getting his surgery done and everything, I. I don't need to add anything extra. So there will not be a video for the next two Wednesdays, uh, but the Saturday videos will still be here. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you again next Saturday. Bye, everybody.